Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. It has been a very dry off-season in the Bachelor world. Not much to talk about, not much barrel scraping to do. You could even say that the barrels haven't even been present to be scraped. But we found one, and we scraped, and Clayton Eckerd has a potential new girlfriend. Clayton reveals who from Zach Shell Cross's season caught his eye. And not only that, he says he's talking to this person. And if you ask me, I'm an old-school millennial i just turned 38 right but in my day back in my day talking to someone meant you're bumping harrison's that's what it means to me i'm not saying he admitted to that why would he admit why would he out a private relationship he's not zach Shellcross. this isn't the fantasy suites but we're going to get into it right now do me a favor follow me on patreon if you want behind the scenes content patreon.com slash dave neil i'm actually going to be giving the patreon um, a lot of insight today i just posted this on dave neil's community on facebook patreon knows so i'm interviewing later today for driving with dave it's a pretty big guest for you ye old blue collar barrel scraper but i'm going to be sharing with the Patreon all of the interview questions that I'll be putting together for Driving with Dave, which was an overnight success when I interviewed Susie Evans. Of course, we interviewed Reality Steve as well. Driving with Dave is a series. And by the way, I just got this new gold necklace here. I didn't realize it'd be a gold necklace guy, but this is what I am. I wanted to get a necklace, not not to look cool while I'm sunbathing, but because I got these lavalier microphones. So when I'm driving, I just take the lavalier microphone, put it right there, and then I've got perfect audio. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that a great, you know, because if it's up here, it's too close and it peaks and all that jazz. Either way, that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to share an update with you. As uh, y'all folks join the Patreon, I keep investing in quality gear here to keep the show interesting. And speaking of interesting, Clayton's dating life. He um, obviously had a nuclear uh, reaction happen when he chose uh, uh, Susie. Well, I guess... He didn't choose Susie. Basically, everyone quit on him, and um, he ended up with Susie. But then Rachel Reckia and him got back together, at least as friends, and we were like, oh, maybe there's a chance. Now, Clayton reveals if Gabby visited Scottsdale after they playfully talked on Instagram. My, my thought is this didn't happen, but we'll play this clip, and then afterwards, Clayton reveals who he may be seeing from Zach's season of the Bachelor, and we're going to want to get into that. That's going to be a good one, folks. A lot of hypothesizing going on today. Let's get into it right now. Yeah, I, I personally, I've met you a few times. I like you. I think you have a I good head on that. your shoulders. I think that you are a catch. Um, I don't know if Gabby yeah, feels I that way. I tell everybody else that. I don't know if Gabby feels that way <laughs> after the, the dress comment, but that's also something that got a lot of traction. So hey, is there any conversation... After that, no, and I, I, I sent. Uh, she she posted another one recently about her selling the dresses from, um, from when she was on uh, when we were on the same season together, and I was just like, hey, I put me a comment. I said, I said, don't be shy, tag him because I'm just having Shoot fun it. with it. I mean, I, I, I have no bad blood towards her. Um, I have not spoken to her at all since um, the end of uh, uh, since the end of my my season. Yeah. Um, so, so I don't know how she feels, uh, about me. I, I, I would hope it's water under the bridge. I felt like she, when she, you know, made that original post saying Clayton was supposed to propose me in this, I, I, I kind of took that as like a light, fun, hard, like lighthearted jab. I didn't think it was like her taking a shot at me, even though she, she asked my, 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 the vowel in my name, but, um, I, I didn't think there was anything wrong with that. I thought we were having, I thought it was just banter, oh, yeah. like playful banter, but she didn't say anything after I sent the message. And I know she saw it. I mean, oh, she definitely the comment, saw the, it. The comment was up there. So I know she saw it. Were you considering sliding into her DMs after that? No, because I, what am I going to slide for? You know, I mean, <laughs> he's so like, what am I going to slide for? She was on Dancing with the Stars. You think she wants old Clayton and Eckert over here? Uh, I think she's an incredible person. I think she's doing really well for herself. Um, but, you know, she doesn't, she, there's no, I think at this point, I mean, we would just be friends. If anything, there wouldn't be anything else there. And she knows okay. that I know this. So it's, it's just that like, I, I, there's no way she could ever revisit it. Uh, I, after everything that happened, um, I think it was pretty apparent who I, who I decided to choose, you know, with going with Susie and I made that decision and I just don't think anybody would ever want to feel like they're, you know, second choice. Um, and not, and that's just the way that this whole thing works is like, you're, you're picking, there's multiple people and it's, yeah. Um, what I, if they had a season where they did a little redo where they, what if they did a bachelor in paradise where they only brought contestants that were there to do a redo, which means you would have Tino 
Rachel, Clayton, and who some you know some other finalists from Rachel's season. I don't know, just just a thought. I just I think that in their head and in my head, it's like you know you would always feel like you were never the number one. Okay, so uh, clearly uh, Gabby wasn't Clayton's number one, but who may Clayton be seeing? Let's have a listen here. I'm going to pause a few times because it's only 56 seconds long, but as far as barrel scraping goes, there really is a trove of content here. Do you want to just just throw out a name of who you potentially were interested in? Do you want to throw it out there? <sighs> Clayton, help um, me out. Come on. This gold necklace wasn't free, Clayton. Come on, give me something. Oh, man, should I? You don't have to. I was just messing with you. I mean, if you want to, uh, go for it. If you want to, go for it. Tell us, Clay. Uh, you know, gonna... uh, I'll... Clayton, Clayton. I'll just, I'll just, I feel a little dangerous. I mean, it's not oh. like I'm, I'm, ta I'm talking to this person, like, so, but we're not dating or anything yet. Okay, so he says, I'm talking to this person, but we're not dating yet. All right, folks. Well, that's canoodling. That's, to me, that means sending each other sexy DMs, the potential. What kind of movies do you like? You enjoy uh, yeah, Matthew McConaughey as much as I do? Oh, are you feeling dangerous? That's so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see where that heads, but... Um, you know what? Uh, from all things that I can see on social media and from what I saw on TV, uh, I think her name was uh, Jess. Jess was was pretty cute. <laughs> he goes, I. Th <laughs> he goes, I think her name was Jess. You know what her name was, Clayton. You've been checking her out. Yeah, uh, pretty okay. cute girl. Like she, she, she was on clickbait. Yeah, the uh, that that's there. You go. If you want the clickbait, that's that's somebody that I think is uh, that I, that I'm like, hey, there could be interest there. Love it. Love it. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And Clayton takes a shot with uh, Glitter's famous Jess Gerard, or Giro if you're French. Uh, that's right, Glitter Gang over here. As you guys know, we've been a fan of Jess from the moment she walked out of the limo. She is in the uh, she's in the good graces of the Dave Neal Power Recap community. And let's go through a few carousels of Jess. She uh, was spent the last week or so posting a bunch of photos with alumni from her season of course course I have no idea where they are uh but um you know the dress photo the food photo the pool photo um there she is with gabby also friend of the program we love gabby vermonster's own gabby and jess from florida florida woman you never know with a florida woman you either get jess or you get um you know some crazy fire cracking you know uh uh well you know i don't want to uh, you know Piss off all the Floridians. All right, and there she is, uh, Jess again. More photos of Jess, the obligatory 7-Eleven uh, video recording photo. You know, you, you know you're good looking when you can make a 7-Eleven video recording photo look good there. There she is with, I believe, Ariel. Ariel, Ariel. Um, what else do we have here? We have Katie, right? That's her name, right? The winner of Zach's season. Oh, I just, I'm, so, I'm feeling so bad. I don't know the name on the left. Um, but the, you'll tell me in the comment section, you sure will. Is there a tag here? Oh, Mercedes, of course, Mercedes. Uh, there she is, German engineered. <laughs> okay, folks. And then, of course, Gabby on the right. It looks like Gabby was wearing sunglasses and got a little bit of a burn. But with the with the way ladies contour these days, who knows? Maybe that's the look. Very beautiful. Um, and then what else do we have here? And there she was. What a fun, I, I didn't make a video about this, but how fun was this? Uh, all the ladies of The Bachelor, they went out and they ended up meeting Future. Um, no, but in the present. Okay, no, dad jokes. Either way, there they are. Uh, what a wild uh, sort of week they had. Let's see, we got some... Hi, I got my girls. Got my girls there, doing the thing. Instagram reels, photos. No Zach in sight. Of course, we were wondering, would... Um, the ladies, you know, would uh, Katie still be friends with Gabby after, you know, getting proposed to and, you know, or not, no, is she proposed to Zach? What, are they together? Did they get engaged? Yeah, I guess they're engaged. Who knows? Does it even count? Anyway, there they are. So Clayton has his eyes and it's like, no offense, Clayton, but it's not like it's some, um, some far-fetched pick there. She's one of our favorites. So happy for Clayton. Now the question becomes, who will be the next bachelor? Everyone wants to know who's going to be the next bachelor. There's actually a lot of romance rumbling out there that people want Ronald Gladden. Who's Ronald Gladden? He's the star of Jury Duty. Now, Jury Duty, I've said this since I watched this a few weeks ago, Jury Duty is a fantastic uh, prank show. It's like the Truman Show meets The Office, where a whole, and I'm not giving anything away, 
a whole group of actors playing jury members um, uh, are on a TV show, and there's one person that's not an actor, and he thinks he's on a real jury with real humans, but it turns out to all be improvised around him, and his name's Ronald. He's got a heart of gold. Everybody loves him. He's not in the Bachelor world. He's not in it for fame. He literally is just living like the lottery life, really, in that he's kind of been plucked from obs- our, from obscurity. Uh, Kel- Kelly calls him our king. There he is. And now he's friends with James Marsden. So why don't we do this? Let's get Ronald as our next bachelor. Here's what he had to say about his time on jury duty. How long did it take you to adjust back to real life? Oh, it, so... I didn't go back to work for easily a month after I found out. Like it was it was quite the process. I didn't even begin to process how I was feeling about it until the weekend after. I actually James was wonderful about this. I was messaging him the weekend after and I was like, "Hey, I'm kind of feeling a little paranoid. I don't know if this is normal. I like are there still cameras following me?" And so James, just being the wonderful human that he is, he calls me right up. Um we were on the phone for 30 45 minutes and he really started helping. James Marsden, of course, the famous actor, played himself on the show as a celebrity on the jury. Me well, first, th- firstly, he assured me there are no cameras following me anymore, and then he started helping me just kind of work through all these feelings. I got Truman Showed in real life. Like, well, now that he's kind of overcome his Truman Show in real life, maybe he'll be looking for love. Here he is with his cast right there. So, anyway, folks, a fantastic combination of reality shows. If you haven't seen Jury Duty, it's on Amazon's Free V Network, and um, it's uh, not a hung jury when you're speak. Okay, well, I don't know where I'm going with that pun, but either way, happy for. Clayton, as he said here, he said he's talking to this person and talk about putting pressure on a relationship that hasn't happened yet, but I'm very happy for him if anything transpires. Do me a favor, follow me on Patreon if you got a big bonus today and you want to join our membership-only community. For as little as $5 a month, we make pretty much daily extra content for you, behind-the-scenes live streams. And um, I, I'm actually going to be, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you this, I'm going to be sharing with you which Bachelor Nation couple is pretty much broken up. There is a couple that is broken up. I have confirmation of that, and I'm going to share it with a Patreon today. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. You'll be crushed. It is the couple that nobody wanted to break up, the couple that everyone wanted to last. They are done, and that'll be on today's Patreon. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I can't share it publicly yet because I'm going to wait for them to share it, but we can share it with the private membership-only community. All right, more content coming to you guys right after this. Don't forget, check out the Afternoon Podcast Bachelor Rush Hour for all of your entertainment news.